back at uh, Pacifica and uh, I've created a lump on the Elevon here using uh, just some sticks along here and some monocoat over the top. The concept is is that each one of these strips will help trip the boundary layer and make it turbulent and help it stay attached. Tough that's hanging up on some tape there. So the wind's blowing about 10 right now, which is not a lot. But if I set the Elevon here to say, let's get this set down here about 20 degrees, 21 degrees. There's 21 degrees. And if we wait for the wind to pick up, what I've seen earlier today, if you look at the two tufts that are all the way inboard, uh, they're showing significant separation and one of them actually tends to just fly straight off. Uh, when the wind picks up it's just going straight back. The one at the very root end is separated pointing it out at the tip. And at 21 degrees deflection here we're getting a little separation on uh, the tufts that are over the lump but obviously they're in much better shape than the ones inboard. Uh, they're still attached over at least half the cord of the Elevon, which is about as good as we can expect. Um, yeah, still sitting here at 21 degrees. And if I were to take this up to say 20, let's see, back this down a little. There's 20 right there. That's eh, about the same. If I were to take it up to say 18, there's, let me stack down a little, oh, hard to catch it here, there's like, oh, went too far again, very sensitive, there's 16, 17, of course the wind's not blowing, so they're perfect, <laughs> uh, we're sitting here at 15, 16 degrees of deflection. And when the wind picks up, you'll see that the tufts are nicely attached to the lump, uh, except for at the, at the very ends where we're near the trailing edge. Now we're sitting here at 20 degrees and they look pretty good. Um, inboard definitely separated. I think what we're indicating here is uh, the previous lump that I tried was a little bit taller. Um, and that probably made a difference. Uh, we got the flow a little bit more accelerated uh, before we tried to turn the corner and, and go back down uh, to the trailing edge. And so that tells me that when I make this modification, uh, I'll need sticks that are just a little bit taller, uh, eighth of an inch, say. Uh, these sticks, uh, the, the peak of this is just slightly less than half an inch. The other one was slightly over half an inch. So I probably need to add about an eighth of an inch. Uh, to the overall height. Uh, but this uh, lightweight method of applying the lump should work. Uh, just to, I'll take the covering off the Elevon and uh, glue on a series of uh, sticks uh, span-wise, essentially uh, stringers or longerons if you prefer, and uh, put covering back over it. And the whole Elevon will have this lump on it like you see now. I see we're sitting right here about 20 degrees right now of deflection. Of course, if I go all the way to the max, if I take it down here to, there's 24.6 degrees, and then it starts to separate off the lump. But it can't go quite that far. It, but it doesn't take much. You raise it up just a little bit up to say, let's see, let's get it back to around 20. There's 20, and that's not too bad. It's still somewhat attached. So I think if I make the lump a little bit taller, it'll stay attached a little bit better. And out here at the tip, uh, I suspect we're getting bad results on the tuft at the tip because the uh, sawhorse is sitting right in front of the leading edge of the wing. And that's obviously disrupting the flow. Uh, so I can't say whether that one's right or wrong. It's just kind of wandering around of its own accord. Uh, but I think if we look at the, uh, the tufts on the lump compared to the tufts inboard, uh, the lump is a significant improvement.